squish, squish, squish. Hello friends, my name's Anna, and if you're anything like me as an autistic, you believe that sensory seeking doesn't have to be expensive. So let's head to the dollar store and see what they have. What I see, it's an absolute stimtopia. Spook season special interest, anyone? If you're anything like me, you struggle with fine motor skills, and that's where these floss picks come in, rather than those weird tooth floss whatevers. These soft pillows are an absolute steal. They're super, super duper soft. If you like to pet soft things, yes. I don't know about you, but developmentally, I guess I, I guess I'm six months old because true to Montessori, I still love mirrors. They're super entertaining. Is that just me? <laughs> My parents raised two to three girls, and I don't understand why we always went to like the pharmacy to buy stuff. Phone cord bracelet stems in the hair section. We got some metallic ones, some matte ones, so many different kinds of color schemes for whatever suits your stem. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They also have other detangler brush colors, which are awesome. In case you want something a little bit more less hot pink, I completely get that. Run, these rugs are just a dollar and I can't believe it. They've got like greens and blues and reds and even a yellow looks like. Run. I have really bony feet and I just can't handle being on hardwood at all. Any hard surface is the no for me. Look what we have! A fun massager. It's also stimmy. It's it's a good fidget. It's a good fidget. It's a good fidget. Look at this fidget. Look at this fidget. Woo! Shampoo massager. This one is a little bit stiffer if you like that, but I tried one of these and my tender scalp didn't like it, so can't say it's worth your buck. They've got squishy gel bead masks. And they also have these sponges if you enjoy destroying things. These are also nice and squishy. And they also have a rainbow here. And my store is one of the smaller ones, just FYI. Another tactile fidget in these laundry tags. We also got a cute cactus. Ugh, I love sensory seeking here. When I was at my mom's house and super stressed, one day I just decided to throw a whole bunch of rice all over my room, and it was amazing. I was just rolling in rice. Really fun sensory activity if you want to vacuum your floors for the next two weeks. And through two moves, the rice followed me wherever I went. And for the olfactory seekers, we got these scent beads, but I'd be tempted to eat them, so that's why I'm not buying them. Look! They have, it's textured. This is like vinyl liner if you want to do something with it. Oh, this is so fun. Look at that. If Fidgets and Fries followed me on here, I'd definitely be sending her this mug right now because they got some really nice mugs for organizing your little knickknacks that you keep on losing. And someone forgot their shopping list here. By the way, fun fact about me, I have one singular plate that I got from the thrift store. And when I cannot find it, my entire day is ruined. But once I find it, I'm still mad. A bag or two to store your fidgets, anyone? These are pretty small, but I think I've seen bigger ones before. They've got silicone brush cleaners that are a really nice tactile stem. I don't know if you should chew on these, but I'm not your mom, do whatever you want. Kidding, I am your mom. Look what we have. Sunglasses for the light sensitive. I'd go for the amber kind if I was you. I went to the ophthalmologist because I'd been struck with some hypersensitivity to light during my freshman year of college. He found nothing weird and was like, <sighs> it was a little bit. I guess my eyes are okay now. They still get sensitive sometimes and migraines do run in my family. Tiny organizer for tiny things. Or glasses for the light sensitive or where that came from. I feel like I overpaid for my pair. The piece to the response for the olfactory stimmer. We have a whole range of scents to sample here, and low risk, it's just a dollar. Also, rubber chicken. 
by the way, can't get enough of these puffball lids. Look at that. Also, squishy magnet. Ring, 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 ring. Banana dough. It's like scented Play-Doh or Crayola. Crayola dough. Okay. So many great opportunities here to hone some good hand-eye coordination. They got some acrylic gems, some glass gems, and some sand, but that's a sensory no-no for me. Floral foam. I've seen no shortage of Instagram videos of soaking this with water and then squishing it. Even more florals. Ugh, these are gorgeous, but here's like a gist of the wall. Did I forget to cover the most amazing sensory aid ever? It's these fans. One dollar. You can fan away olfactory nuisances, shade your eyes from the shade, move things you don't want to touch, or like press things you don't want to touch, and it also doubles as a cubiton. They've got a whole bunch of different colors. Pro tip, you should probably go with the black handled ones because I got like one of these and unfortunately it gets dirty. Don't make ABA jokes, don't make ABA jokes, don't make ABA jokes, don't make ABA jokes. These pedicure flip flops look like they're so much fun to shred and they come in different colors. If they have any soap bars, I should probably grab some of those since I've been addicted to watching the soap cutting videos on Instagram. They're gorgeous to watch. Ooh, here we are. Shea buttermilk and oatmeal almond and English lavender. Oh my my. I want to destroy this. You know what I see here? Jewelry. It's teething toys. Made for babies. But if you're in a pinch, you got to nod down on something. They also got cute teddy bears. Chew a gem law to charge us what now? Oh my goodness. These facial scrubbers are so tempting. They got little tiny bristles. So sensory. You know what I see here? Spock Holmes. Ooh, just imagine that running through your hair, eh? Another cute tote bag to keep your fidgets. This is for the guys, not just the girls. You guys are cute too. And of course, let's not forget that the imaginary gender binary harms everyone. These bath bombs, I don't recommend if you don't want an infection. Just my perspective. Oh look, we got hair bonnets. Because when I look up my bonnet, the hat I'm wearing online, these are the kinds of things that show up. We have, we have another shampoo brush, but no way to assess how good it is. If you want to take a risk, go for it. This could be good for like a hand stem sensory bath if you want to do that. That would be super fun. Just imagine throwing in some pasta in there from the dollar store and like this bath bomb. If you can't give yourself a sensory bath, give your hands one. They got the tubs and bowls for it. Go for it. It's not my birthday, but it will be soon. Don't know where to start with organization because your parents never taught you. Now you're living on your own and you're terrified dollar store. They have paper straws and you know what I see? Fidget time! If anyone tries the sodas, let me know how it goes because I have one bottle of Mountain Dew and was like off the rails for the rest of the day. Look at this big bag of egg noodles for a dollar. It's always good to check if you can get a better price but honestly, compared to where I normally shop, these are still good and very sensory. They have more gel squishies. They got a turtle and a ladybug. And this cute smiley, if you're into it. More of these things to run through your hair. And we got By the way, when it comes to me and hard candy, I destroy these. I just go straight up crunch. Suffer from executive functioning and need to go grocery shopping? List. I'm not saying that you should chew these erasers, but we got more sentry bags and this nice folder. If you want to like cut things up, if you enjoy doing that, you can cut this up. 
Although, I think CVS has better deals on that. Rubber bands. Dollar. Endless fun. Just my thoughts. If you like to cut things, glitter paper. If you need a redirection, glitter paper. And they do have different colors, including green and blue and purple and magenta and light blue and dark blue. We have yarn if you love to untangle things, and they do have some softer yarn. There was one the other day that I touched, it was this one. It's so soft, I'm like, oh my goodness, I just want to knit an entire baby blanket out of this. Dry wood and dry anything is just a sensory nope for me. They have a couple of ugly dolls keychains. Remember them the when these were all the rage? Oh my goodness. They also have these. Oh my goodness, this looks perfect for speech path stuff. And like the sensitization for OT. This looks awesome. Pearls. Google guys, I mean to buy these to prank people. Um, glitter. Ooh, feathers. Feathers, feathers, and feathers, and vinyl paper. These spirographs, only a dollar. I haven't tried them yet, but you can try them. I don't know how good they are, but they do look very stimmy to me. They do have noise putty, which is fun if you're into that. And it looks like they also have some Rubik's cubes if you got any nerds in the house. Oh, I had one of these sugar skulls at home and I just broke it. Devastated about it. I guess maybe I could paint another one. Visual clutter driving you crazy? Caddy. Travel dressing container is squishy. These dryer balls are spiky if you like that. What I see? Regulation potential. And this coloring book. If you need a box to put your fidgets, here's a good option. I'm getting some sensory overload, so I guess that's the sign for me to leave and drink my oat milk since I'm a stereotypical Gen Z woman. But I guess I'll see you guys around. Hope you enjoyed. This was an exhaustive list, but I hope I gave you some ideas of budget, sensory diets, and seeking. Alright, see you around.